What's going on, beautiful people of YouTube? It's Rain Bean. As you can see, we got us the RG350 for Bootleg Central. This was sent in to be a contender for the Rain Bean treatment. And regardless if something's sent in or not, I'm going to give it my full honest opinion. And as you can see, it's already up and running. And normally with these types of uh, with, with these types of videos, I unbox it and show you my impressions then and there. I couldn't do that with this one. And we're going to get into that. So sit back and relax. This is the RG350. Let's see what it's about. Alright guys, so before we get into the actual console, we're going to talk about the uh, the box, what you're going to get into. That's that's what I normally do with these videos. Box, very basic, you know, it's it's, it's not the worst I've seen. It's, it's very nice, kind of like a kinda like a phone in a sense, you know, with that with that nice little slide. Everybody likes it. So, see that slide. Uh, but, for what we got here on the inside, this is what you'd see when you had opened it, minus the console. It, it wasn't, you know, obviously it's on the outside there. I can't, you know, be two places at once. Uh, but you got a nice little foam piece underneath that. Uh, the the USB. This is interesting. It uses a, it uses a USB Type C. You don't see that too often. Uh, I I love the Type C. It's it's excellent for for the for the modern day idiot because you know you don't have to like mess around with it top or bottom. It's just gonna go in no matter what. Usually, uh, you know, depending if you're in the right right area. Uh, and then and then you got the manual. You got the basic RG three fifty manual. I don't know what it is about these consoles that you know that they're demanding a, a, a decent price this one i believe is listed or, or selling for 70 80 bucks around that i'm gonna leave a link to this in the description and uh, uh, before we get started i'm not gonna bash this thing it does have some very good qualities but i want you to decide by the end of it if it's something for you and if you do there's a link if you wanted to go for it i'm not making any money off of it uh so it doesn't really matter uh, but these are the instructions and as you can see you're like you are limited uh, very limited to, to to what this thing actually does for you. That, that the, my, the instructions were were the most difficult part for me because I did have issues. I did run into them, and of course this provided me with nothing. Um, it's I don't know the best way to describe this. I want people to understand something. I am not the most knowledgeable when it comes to emulation and ROMs. Of course, I've used some for streams and whatnot. It's very very basic stuff. But when it comes to uh, you know, you know updating drivers things like that and and making this thing actually work right i i had difficulty i had to send and then big big shout out to my buddy steve he actually helped me with this this video would have came out a long time ago and you would have seen it you know unboxed then and there uh, but i actually had to send this off to him it did not want to connect to my computer and actually come to find out i believe it was my usb port on the computer because i actually plugged it into the back so i don't know why i don't know computers computers are complicated to me but but he helped me out with that and uh, he put a few roms on this thing it does have like i, I want to say it's like a 16 gigabyte memory uh and he filled it's like it's it's uh it says uh, 11 here 11 out of 13 uh, I think it, I want to say it had 16. I don't know what's going on with it, but he put some stuff on there, you know, versus what it already had on the system. Nothing else in the box. The menu or the, the menu. My God, the instructions. I mean, I don't know. The instructions aren't the greatest, but they never are with these things. And that's, that's okay. Cause we've had some very bad systems with great, you know, instructions. And then you've had some very, uh, you know, good systems with the, with the worst instructions. So that's that. That's the box. But let's get down to, to what you really want to see. Minus these uh, chicken cutlets called fingers here. Ignore those. So this is the system itself. This is my overall impression of the unit. Actually, let me turn off some of these lights. Let's get a better look at this thing. All right, this this will help just just with the overall video. The the system very sleek. I actually like this. It's got very nice weight to it. Uh, the joysticks. The joysticks feel unbelievable. Listen to this. They got clicks. I don't know why. Maybe you want to map something, you know, for for a retro game. I'm gonna get more into that later, but they do got clicks in there. The buttons. This is this is one of my one of my uh, few qualms that I have with this thing. Look at look at how high those buttons set up. They feel very out there, and it's more noticeable on the D pad. The D pad. I mean, it's up here, man. The console's down here. It's pretty wide. It just needs to be lowered, in my opinion, just a little bit. Uh, it doesn't. It's not the worst. 
I mean, it feels solid. It's very responsive. Same with the buttons. This is, I don't know, maybe a little gripe on my end. Joystick's absolutely amazing. This one's a little bit loose. It's This is very little play on it. And it's it's, it's a little loose. Uh, actually, they're both... Slightly loose. I mean, it's it's not nothing that that's like a, it's like a it's, it's going to be a deal breaker for me. The joysticks feel very solid, though. I like the placement of it. I'm an Xbox fan, so it kind of feels natural to have it all crooked like that. Uh, and then you have your top your top triggers right here. You have, it, it's kind of like set up like a like a 3ds in a sense uh, for your buttons up here. And it's I don't know. It's 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 sleek. It's nice, and I'm digging it. But there's some issues with it, and that's what we're going to get into. So one of the first issues that I want to talk about is this one that I've heard, and the reason I got to say this is because I'm not the one who put these ROMs on there. Uh, my buddy Steve was a computer wizard. He knows his stuff. He said he did have difficulty with certain ROMs not wanting to go where they, or finding where they needed to go, which was the issue in getting certain things to run, certain arcade games, things like that. Um, so and, unless you really know your way around ROMs, emulators, that sort of thing, this this it, it may not be the best thing for you. But then again, I'm completely ROM illiterate. So I, I don't know anything about it. You know, I can I can you know get a ROM, put a ROM, play it on a PC. I can now that I know what I'm doing, transfer them to this. Um, but it may it, it's it's not the most user friendly. At least with the BitBoy, when I did do the BitBoy, the BitBoy was very I don't know, it just seemed you know plug and go. You were done and set up and ready to ready to do it. It did come pre-installed with a lot of ROMs, so you didn't really have to add anything. But it wasn't that hard to add them to to that unit itself. But this one, not too much different, at least. So looking at the first screen for someone like me means absolutely nothing. I don't know what, what to do with any of this. I, I am a retro gamer. I'm not, I'm not a, a, a PC person. I, I don't I don't know. I know what a clock means, but any anything else here? Explore, I know you're going to be looking in five. I don't know what anything else is. I know people are going to be like, how is this even a review? Because it's, it's me. This is bootleg central. I'm a very simplistic man. Uh, but we go over here to the next screen, emulators. Now we're getting to something at least that I know what, what I'm talking about. I, I recognize a lot of these symbols. I know what these this stuff is. That's a damn Game Boy. Uh, <laughs> but jokes aside, um, the, the, I, I guess these are the names of the actual emulators. I've actually never heard of uh, SCX uh, or however it is. You know, I've, I, I use you know different types of uh, emulators myself for the PC for streams. But some of these I actually just I've never heard of. Uh, some of them I do recognize. I don't know. Maybe, it'd be nice if I could change the names of them at least. You know, I haven't found that in the settings. The settings is very bare in this. Like I mean, even setting your your uh, your the the tone of uh, your theme. That's what I'm trying to talk about. At least with the Pocket Go, uh, that they actually had some pretty wild themes that you can put on there. At least for this one, uh, if I can show you here, if I can, yeah, we go down a skin. I'm really just changing like. I don't know, just like colors of the of the tones. I don't know. It seems kind of basic for the price. The Bit Boy was a bit cheaper. Uh, this not so much. Uh, so coming here, we'll 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 start up with here the, the you know little Samson. I'll never own this game. If I do, I'm gonna sell the hell out sell the hell out of it. And get me something that I want. Uh, uh oh, the sound, except for that opening, a little Samson. It's fantastic. I don't know why that sounds like that. Uh, you know, for a lot of people who don't know Little Samson, it's extremely stupid, expensive game. Uh, and if you ever own it, this is the way to do it on an emulator. Uh, like I said, you know, as a game collector, I would love to have it if I just happen to, you know, you know, not have to work for a living. But at the same time, I would take Little Samson and I'd sell it, get like five or six crazy turbo games that I really want. All right, let's turn this down. We don't need this too loud. The sound is nice on this. I'll give it that. You got two speakers here on both sides. Uh, all right, oh, so let's get into this. I'll show you how this looks. All right, so the first thing you're going to notice is that's that's the wrong aspect ratio. This it, it's it's not four three. It doesn't look four three to me at all. It just looks just a little stretched. I don't know why if, that, if, if that's just me or what. But if we go in here, and this is really nice. You do have you know I, don't, I guess it, it's dependent on each of the emulators you use. Um, you do have your own personal settings, your save states, that sort of thing. So, and this actually is nice. You can take a, a screenshot. I don't know what the hell you do with it, but you can. Uh, and you got main setup, video setup, video scaling, and then we could um, change the aspect ratio, I believe. What's just aspect? What is this? There we go. Hey, look at that. Look at that. Now, now we now we are right. That 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 looks that looks more like a four three, which is good. Most of the emulators that I found had this option where you can change it. Uh, ignore the Discord server in the back. It is going boop. I still haven't figured that out. Not. This is crazy. I, I somebody mentioned uh, fixing the Discord notifications. Next thing you know, I disabled all notifications for everybody on the server. I won't touch them again until I know what I'm doing. Uh, but this performs very well. Top two buttons act as turbos. I'm sure you can adjust them. Um, it looks 
and and plays very well. Like if you had the uh, the, the frames per second going from, I haven't had any that slowed down uh, drastically or, or took a dive to where you'd actually notice. Uh, how's this game so damn expensive? It's a good game, but man, I can't I can't be paying prices like that. All right. So yeah, it performs well. You got a load of settings for each one. It's, it is nice that you can just at any time go to that save state. You can mess around with the with the with the ratios, um, and you'll I'll find I'll actually show you here. Uh oh, that's how we're gonna exit. Get out of here. So that's gonna they, they they perform very well. They I had you know when it when it comes to emulation basic stuff Super Nintendo NES Sega it, it usually it usually works fine. So usually when you get into the to the harder stuff that that it's going to uh you know the the, the more demanding stuff you're, you're going to run, run into issues but what are we talking about here we're talking about 60 frames per second dipping down to like 50 it's not terrible uh my god i've been growing up with 30 my whole life uh so anyways let's go let's check out some game boys here uh, kirby's dreamland 2 check it out now right away you can see the border uh and it condenses your 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 screen down you know very drastically uh, so, man, well, it's actually about the same size as, I don't know, maybe a little smaller than a uh, Game Boy Advance Micro. Too small for me. I like to be able to see stuff. My eyes are terrible. I got suck eyes. Uh, so what we do, we go in here, we go mess around with the settings, select the scaler, and of course you have all your options. We could go to full screen, uh, but again, it, it stretches that ratio out. Uh, so for me, at least on here, I found that 166 fast. Uh, it's, it's not as detailed as it once was. Uh, but it's the right aspect ratio and it's it's bigger and that's that's what we're after As you can see it looks great. I mean it, it really does. I don't know how well the phone's gonna be picking it up I gotta get a new camera. I, that phone's terrible. Uh, I'm not gonna go doing, doing levels I'm just trying to show you guys just how it looks very responsive. Oh Let it go Kirby Notice how the joystick's not working for this. I don't know if there's a way if I can map it uh controls see i don't even know what alternative is going alternative is going to do here didn't do a damn thing for me um some things the, the joysticks just don't work it worked on the uh, nes games works on some of the others it doesn't uh, apparently it doesn't work for kirby son of a gun all right let's uh see I'm, I'm so used to hitting b to go back but all i'm doing is going through a whole bunch of stuff i don't even know what the hell it is all right let's go into some more complicated stuff here let's check out um all right, so here we go. Super Mario World. The joystick. Yeah, we see we got joystick functionality on this, just not on the Game Boy. Uh, when it comes when it comes to a game like this, it, it's it's not meant to be played with a joystick. It's all about that D-pad action, and it's so weird to try to play a game and look like I'm looking at the 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 the, the phone to to actually play this thing. I'm probably looking like an idiot, uh, but man, it does look and play very well. It looks beautiful. I mean, it, it's it's not bad at all. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy about the whole aspect ratio. Maybe this is four three like perfectly, and I'm just an idiot, uh, which is very plausible. I mean, that's that's going to happen quite often. Uh, but this this is looking good. I tell you, one issue that I'm I'm finding with the Super Nintendo emulator is I don't have any way to 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 control this. I mean, I you know I don't I can't mess with with the settings at all. Uh, and like I said, maybe it's for the actual emulator itself that you put on here. Uh, maybe you can put a different different emulator that has those settings for Super Nintendo. For the one that it comes with, it does not. So something that I did want to show off on here was uh, the PlayStation. It, this actually plays PlayStation 1 games. And I, he put two on here. As you can see, we got Castlevania Symphony of the Night, Crash Bandicoot. I want to show you Crash Bandicoot first. Um, this thing boasts that it that it that it can play all of them, better, you know, perfectly, and it's not necessarily the case. Uh, but this plays it so listen that listen to that tell me if that's not amazing The power of a PlayStation in your hands I think whenever the PlayStation 1 came out if you could go back and look at your Dorito covered face and say listen This is gonna happen in the future. I wouldn't have believed it. I want to you know I would have went and grabbed another surge and ignored you uh, But this is possible. I'm gonna turn you down. I don't know why it like keeps resetting the sound for everything that, that I start up Naughty dog Let's get this started. I want to show you how well this performs. All right, so check this out. Look at, look at, look at this. Look at this. Is this not crazy? You can see a little bit of screen tearing every so often. Not bad, but this is just unreal. This is this is very nice. Except for that, I'm, oh my god, I gotta actually. <laughs> I need to find a way to where I can play this thing and not have to like look through like a, a, a different screen to look at the screen. I don't know how to explain it. 
Uh, that, I'm no crash expert. Look at that. Is that not crazy? That looks good. It looks great. Um, I mean, it's... I'm not going to say it's spot on or, you know, exactly what it is, but hell, it looks it looks fantastic to me. Let's try Symphony of the Night out. Alright guys, so here we go. We get the start of, of Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Uh, and it just, it looks incredible. It's, it's not the, uh, the, the first, you gotta come in here and kill Dracula. Was this the end of the, uh, end of the first one? Um, you know, with Richter Belmont here. Uh, God, this is just cool to be able to play something like this. Uh, on, and you know, I got, I got to think, why the hell does it have these two buttons at the, at the, at the beginning? Well, hell, it's because of PlayStation. See, there's that idiot part of me coming out again. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling you, it's gonna happen that way. Oh, here he comes. Let's listen. We're gonna have to hear it. Die, Damn right. All right. <laughs> so that's nuts. All right. I, it does play PlayStation One games uh, pretty well. From what I heard, some games it's gonna struggle with, but this uh, for for something basic. Damn, done pretty well. Uh, something else I wanted to show you that I thought was just absolutely amazing. Uh, look at this. This uh, your eyes do not deceive you. This is the Neo Geo Pocket Man, and uh, my God, does it look beautiful! The Son of a gun! What the hell was that? Uh, that, I don't know why, like, it doesn't remember my volume setting, which is, you know, shut the hell up, uh, between each game, so every time I load something up, you're really gonna piss somebody off on the subway when you go to change games. Look at this, look how gorgeous this is. This is so bright and beautiful. The Neo Geo Pocket is a fantastic system with the downside of not being backlit. So you'd be able to enjoy your Neo Geo games uh, with the ability of actually being able to see them and know what the hell's going on. I thought this was the most beautiful looking part of the whole system whenever I uh, whenever I messed around with it when he sent it back. I was like, damn, that just, it just pops. It, lo it looks very good. It runs very well. You can see the frames in the top. They're not dipping at all. Uh, oh. Uh, but that I, I just had to I had to showcase that. All right, we're gonna, we need to talk about some open source games here. And I noticed this with the BitBoy. BitBoy had them too, uh, to where you know you could you could see games like Quake and whatnot on there. Um, I'm not gonna go to Quake uh, just simply for the fact that it it doesn't play well on this. Just for the fact that it's mapped, and I'm sure uh, you can go in here and remap the buttons for it. Uh, but initially, like, I mean, nothing, nothing works right. The joysticks don't work right. You, you go to look up next thing, you know, you're, you're, you're shooting or something. It, it's, it's out, it's out, it's crazy. Uh, but we get in here in games and it does have some games that this is what initially came on the system. You got, you know, the classics, Apricots, Astro Lander, Dink Swallow. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that said Dink Swallow whenever I first saw it, but it's, it's like small stuff. They had these like, it's, it's like aftermarket Zelda games. I don't know how to, how to even, how to even categorize that. Uh, you, you got you, this right here, which is like, it's like Navi's Adventure or something crazy like that. Uh, pretty wild stuff. Uh, but one I, I did want to show you that actually played fairly well, which was Free Doom. It's, it's not Doom. I don't, it's, it's, not, it's, it's, you know, it's just an open source style game. Uh, it's actually quite upsetting they didn't have Doom on here. I believe Doom was on, uh, the BitBoy. Alright, so this is the Doom that I was talking about. It's, it's, it's not like officially Doom, but let me turn you down. Go into that shut the hell up mode. Uh, but this utilizes the, the joysticks, which is very nice. Uh, oh, I did uh, realize that like it's not set up. Yeah, it's not like... you. you I, I would like to be able to use the triggers versus the B button or the A button on this to shoot. Just because if I'm using the joysticks to turn, I have to stop. Uh, but this is, uh, this is completely customizable. I can go down here. Uh, customize controls and then turn shoot uh, which is fire we're gonna select that and we're gonna select you all right so now I can actually fire my gun and not look like an idiot but it's not bad it's not bad at all. it looks good it performs well um, like I said the, the the issue that I had with quake is like I couldn't I couldn't figure out how to customize the controls I don't know if I was doing something wrong but if you can play a game like this I, I, I can see it playing something maybe like half-life possibly that, that that would be good I don't I don't know if it could handle half-life somebody's gonna be like you're an idiot the, the game's way too strong I, hell I don't know I'm a simple man uh, anyways let's, let's, let's reset this thing before we talk about our final verdict on here people are probably watching this like man this guy has no idea what he's talking about you're halfway right I'm a guy who reviews bootleg consoles, and these things are getting too damn complicated nowadays. Um, I like the stuff that, that, that I remember opening up a bootleg console that came with like a, an, an aftermarket bootleg Lego piece because they sent me the wrong color. 
these things are coming with USB type C uh, charging cables now. What do I do with that? All right, so my takeaway from this, uh, I honestly want to say, like, I, I want to be the person to be like, man, you got you got to know what the hell you're doing to use something like this. And I, I want to be wrong on that. I, I'm I'm just probably that bad when it comes to knowledge for computers and then the whole the whole everything to the, the ROMs, all that. You people don't realize how basic I am, man. I'm, I'm the most basic person. Uh, ever I, I i can i can solder a crazy mod but when it comes to like you know something had like if my computer makes a noise that, that i'm not familiar with you know and uh, some screen pops up i think the world's about to end uh but this i don't know it's just it doesn't seem the most user friendly but i'm sure like i said it's just me um if anybody can you know a, a lot of these young people now that they, they can they can they can work anything um, and then once I got it hooked up and figured out on my computer, it wasn't that bad to, to, to go around and, and figure things out. It didn't come with a, uh, external, uh, SD card, which sucks. Uh, you know, I had to use what was ever, what was available on the system itself, which is not much memory wise. Um, but you know, I ain't gonna, I, you know, I keep saying the bit boy, but the bit boy did come with one is all I'm saying. Um, what I love about this thing, the joysticks feel nice, uh, for the games that actually use them, they work great. I have no issues with that. All the triggers, everything is very responsive. The screen is beautiful no matter how crazy I am to think that it's just slightly stretched. I don't know. I mean, I think that's just me. I hope it's me. A lot of this has to be me. Uh, the color, the weight, everything is nice. It, it has like a six-hour battery life. Um, I think the, the biggest drawback for me is, is it just wasn't the most user-friendly. Uh, it doesn't have the most settings, that, that, that at least settings that I could understand. The BitBoy seemed like the handicapped version of this. Uh, but that's just me. I'm, I'm not the biggest person into emulators and ROMs and those types of devices. So, it, I, I, you know, I'm looking at it as a layman's person's review. This is someone who just got it. They don't, they, you know, this may be their first ever emulation ROM machine. And, uh, if the instructions were a little bit better, maybe if there was a little bit more guide action to it, um, it would be, it'd be easier. It's not a bad unit at all. I have no issues with it. Some games and everything perform very well. Um, I wish it came with more, but it doesn't. So this is the RG350. Again, I'm going to leave a link to it in the description. And I want you guys to tell me what you think about it. It's got two different USB ports. Apparently, one of the USB ports doesn't do anything. I don't know what the hell that's about. Maybe it's for you know controllers or something. It does have HDMI out. Uh, interesting. I, I did not try that, but you know, I don't see myself using this thing you know on my TV right you know right next to my Retron 5 or something. It would be embarrassing to, to the system. Um, you got a headphone jack and that's it. It's basic. You got to reset. It's not, it's just, it's firmly built. It's well made. Um, it's amongst all the other handhelds that we got now, all these, you know, retro pry machines, these, these emulation machines, all they are. Um, it's not bad at all. Um, let me know guys, if you think this thing is worth the price tag that is asking, I always feel bad for these people that send these things in because I think I'm going to give them the most positive review, uh, just cause they sent it to me. But at the same time, I gotta tell you what I really think. And this thing ain't bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I just don't know if it's for me. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's all I got for this video. I hope you all take care and enjoy the rest of your day.